magnifico Maxayo. Introducing Nahoya, the monster. Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating Montin Channel. Dalawang laban lamang sa bagong dibisyong nilalabanan pero undisputed champion na agad. Siguro kung kapanahonan ni Manny Pacquiao ngayon sa dibisyong nilalabanan nitong si Inoue ay panigwaradong isa si Pacquiao na gusto makalaban itong halimaw ng Japan. Dahil sa panahong lumalaban rin itong si Pacquiao sa dibisyong ito ay tinuturin rin ito na isang halimaw. Mabilis, may magandang footwork at samahan pa ng lakas. Kaya nga ang lahat ng laban ni Pacquiao sa Super Bantam ay nagtapos ng knockout. Puwera na lang dito sa pinakamadayang kalaban ni Pacquiao na kahit itlog ni Pacquiao ay paulit-ulit na tinitira. Marami na nga nagahanga na makalaban itong si Inoue dahil hindi lamang karangalan ang matatanggap kundi napakalaking bayad pa ang matatanggap kahit bugbog ay panalo naman sa kita. Isa nga itong si former WBC featherweight champion Mark Magsayo ang gusto ring palagan itong si Inoue kung saan naging laman nga ito sa mga content ng mga vlogger ngayon. Pero hindi naman talaga natin nakita na galing sa bibig ni Magsayo ang kumakalat na balitang ito. Kung saan, galing ito sa post ni Pinoy Boxing Pro DJ na malapit rin sa mga boxer at sa mga bigating pangalan sa boxing. Na ayon nga dito ay open si Magsayo na lumaban dito kay Naoya Inoue pero sa isang kondisyon na maglalaban lamang ang dalawa sa catch weight limit na 129 pounds. Dalawang division pa rin ang aakyatin ni Inoue kung ganito ang kondisyon ni Magsayo. Kung maglaban man sila ay paniguradong matagal pa itong mangyayari. Pero may palag si Magsayo dito kay Inoue na alam naman natin ang lakas na mayroong taglay itong si Magsayo na kaya rin itong magpatulog sa isang suntok lamang. Pero di rin ito madali kay Magsayo dahil alam naman natin na ang huling tumalo nitong si Magsayo ay tinalo ni Stephen Fulton kung saan Itong si Fulton naman ay pinaglaruan lamang ni Inoue at tinapos by a knockout sa loob ng round 9. Kaya masasabi nating 50-50 pa rin ang labang ito kung sakaling matutuloy. Pero kayang kaya ito ni Magsayo dahil hindi naman pressure fighter itong si Inoue. Di katulad nila Julio Siya at Brandon Pigurua na talagang gitgitan ang gustong laban. Itong si Inoue ay napaka-orthodox kung lumaban, very technical, mabilis magbitaw ng mga kombinasyon pero ayaw ng gitgitang laban. Kaya sa video nating ito ay ating silipin itong huling talo ni Magsayo na galing kay Brandon Pigurua na alam naman natin na dinuminangan itong si Pigurua itong si Magsayo sa kanilang laban. Pero tinalo naman ni Stephen Fulton itong si Pigurua at alam naman natin na pinaglaruan lamang ni Inoue itong si Stephen Fulton sa kanilang laban at tinapos by a knockout. Uh, 
things got a little different. Nice right uppercut by Mikhail. We talked about that being a potentially good weapon. And here we see, we see Vicente Figueroa coming back, how he finished that last round. Back to his own old self. It's been due to Mark McSile and that kind of quickness in and out and scoring. Yeah, that's what you don't want to do if you're 40. McSayo has a good one and a good left hook. He's knocked down. McSayo was able to really hurt him with body punches. So, and of course, Figueroa's known for that. So at some point in this fight, Figueroa really wants to get that. To score a tremendous come from behind victory. And so he, he brings his power late into the fight. Yeah, he pointed it out. He was behind on the scorecards. There's McSayo going go downstairs. He's also a good body puncher. And, you know, he smothered his, his, his offense by doing that. Pops the right hand again off the face of Figueroa. And he... Yeah, you gotta pick your moments, pick your shots, just as you do right there. But figure out, don't do that too often. Double left hook by Figueroa. Listen for that bell, Zelda. Good two way action here in round three. to get off first, become more aggressive? Is that the strategy you would employ? Noticing that the father, you're not get letting off first. Oh, nice left hook to the body counter. Go ahead, Thomas Taylor. Warning them about their holding. Well, McSyle's been at this weight for his whole career, and Figueroa, of course, just moving up to him. The fourth frame. Oh, and there was a solid left hook that McSyle was... And it kind of and was in that a, moment, yeah, but, you know, McIntyre coming back with his body shot. Well, throwing in combination, there's the jab from the southpaw, Figueroa, but McIntyre only lands 38% of his power punches. That's what he's landing tonight. So far in this fight, McIntyre has to be bolstered by the fact that when they are on the inside, dominating those exchanges. Oh, McIntyre bolstering is of those effective combinations. Final minute of the fourth. Yeah, you know where McIntyre is. McIntyre. <laughs> McSyle staying off the road sleep. McSyle looking to land the left. Does land the right. Yeah. Okay. And you can end by McSyle. The, the right hand very good, and of course there's that uh, thunderous left used to jab much in this fight. Only 50 for Figueroa and McSyle with less 41, which is That's something that he, we're not seeing in this, this fight. He's switching too much to my liking. To accomplish thus far. I mean, when we you know certain styles, certain styles. Figueroa marching forward like close rounds, and I, it's going to be hard for the judges to push that. The right moment is land a beautiful so shot. I think uh, Figueroa is thrown in a, uh, mostly in this fight. The, he set down on the that. Fifth. Double jab from the southpaw. Figueroa misses with the right hook. Sayo now with a side headlock. <laughs> He throws 92 punches per round. He's averaged 46 so far. But it, it's a lot less than he normally throws. But he's off to a very good start here. Trying to frustrate Brandon Figueroa. Countering him effectively. Oh, McSyle lands a nice one to And it's a lot of McSyle. Flashing the jab. Oh, landing a solid left. He right stunned one. him with the left. And there's a left hook from McSyle. Mc, this was that segment in the middle of the round where McSyle threw a lot of kind of really good moments in that round, landing the straight left hand. Here's the right hook. The right hook as a lefty is all. We begin the second half of this critical matchup. Stop, 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 stop. Time with Marvin Simodio, his compatriot, as his chief second. Figueroa after six. No, oh, I have McSayo ahead 58, 56, four rounds to two, right. which is another way of saying I could see this going any, any way and every way with, on the official card. And uh, referee Thomas Taylor close to maybe the girl has got the intention of coming, uh, pressuring and keep breaking down McSayo. McSayo with his body punches. Figueroa's offense cut in half coming on here in this round. Yeah, it's been a good round for him. Punches and bunches. He saw the opportunity there, he kept going. Ray Vargas dethroned in McSyle's first title defense last year, or will Figueroa get it? That's the you know, combination that McSyle threw it just shots. 
Left hook to the body by Mitsayo, but Figueroa doing a good job of avoiding the right. Okay, we need to keep punching. Well, Mayb needed to turn the tide in this fight. Uh, this is a slip by some great work on the inside. There he, he rips away with that left hand. As Mitsayo kind of holding again, we can't say he did it out of the blue. And how guys. crucial will that yeah. point to prove to be? And more importantly, will it allow for him? Whether to hold or not, which he yeah, shouldn't. Precisely. Or, or do it, you know, when point he... Ever. Nice counter right hand by Maxile. Maxile up by a point. It's going to be crucial, and then it's going to be... It's going to mean a lot right now if Maxile keeps working that body. Here on the eighth, and beautiful... right in front Seated of him. a number of times before. But it energized McSyle. Double left hooks, triple left hooks, mm. quadruple left hooks. <laughs> oh. And a, queen, a lot of work on the inside. Now, as the round wore on, it was Figueroa that started to do good work, pushing McSyle back in such good work. Possible. Fulton Fulton set for a big fight in Japan, welcoming former undisputed extracurricular activity. Look at that. When he's down there, he works the body. He, he sees the opening to the body. It's either the, the uppercuts or the body. He, you know, still getting his shots in despite the reach advantage. He's got to bring the fight. Tell Figueroa to let go. He lets go. You don't. That's now a two point right. close round. Stop, 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 stop. Figueroa, you want to jump right on top of him right away, knowing that he's not going to be able to hold him. Round, he's had his moment. More punches, all right? If you do it more, if you see him. And they are fighting like it could come down to the 12th round. And the key element will be with that. Sa labang ito ni Magsayo ay talagang madaming tinanggap na suntok ang katawan nito. Kaya makikita natin na nanghina si Magsayo at talagang kinakabira na nito ang kanyang katawan para di matamaan ang direkta. Kahit si Magsayo ay hirap rin sa isang pressure fighter at gitgitang laban. At itong si Inoue rin ay ayaw rin ng ganitong kalaban. Kaya siguro ayaw nitong palagan si Janrel Casimero na alam naman natin na ito ang gusto ni Casimero na laban talagang palitan ng muka. Paunahan na lang kung sino ang unang makatama ng sulido. So abang-abang na lang tayo mga kabusing kung sinong Pinoy nga ba ang sunod na makakalaban nitong si Naoya Inoue at sana makabawi na tayo. So yan lang muna ang ating video sa ngayon mga kabusing. Maraming salamat po.